Hello my friends, I'm Kathy Adams Clark and I want to thank you very much for joining my channel today. I just got back from leading a photo tour to Costa Rica. I have done that for the last 19 years. It's one of my favorite countries that I take people to on my photo tours. This time I traveled with two cameras, just like I always do, but those cameras this time were the Canon R3 and the Canon R6 Mark II. Which Canon camera did I use most often? Come on, journey back with me. Look at some of my photos. Let me tell you why I chose one camera over the other, and then see which camera I used the most on this photo tour. The Canon R3 is a powerhouse of a camera. It weighs 2.24 pounds, and you can see the dimensions of it. It's a large camera, known for its really fast autofocus, rapid firing, um, the ability to catch on to subjects and lock on to them. The R6 Mark II, on the other hand, is only 1.5 pounds, but I found that it also is a powerhouse of a camera. Here you can see the R3 in my hand and see the substantial size of it for somebody my size and weight. And then you'll see also the R6 in my hand and notice that it fits well in my hand. It doesn't weigh too much and um, still works really well with the 100 to 500 millimeter lens. But when we started working on birds like the resplendent Quetzal, I noticed that that R6 Mark II just stayed right with the eye. Red-billed pigeon, even when it turned around, it still locked onto that eye and found it. The same thing on something like the gray-headed Chachalaca. It doesn't get distracted by the brush in the back. Lessons Mot Mot locks onto the eye, lets me recompose. And then in the chestnut-headed aura pendula, easy because the bird's so big, but once the bird gets in the brush, then it still found the bird without any problem whatsoever. Now small birds, white-collared mannequin, I chased it through the brush and it still found it. You can see it at 100% enlargement little tiny blue jean tree frog that we found on the ground and here it is blown up and you'll notice that the noise isn't too bad even though this is a fairly high iso violet headed hummingbird and the next hummingbirds will all be three inches in size but see that it didn't get distracted by the porter weed it stayed right on that hummingbird as long as i could keep the camera where it needed to be Here's a snow-capped hummingbird, once again a fairly small hummingbird, deep in the brush, but the camera still went in there and found it and was able to lock onto it. The volcano hummingbird camera didn't get distracted by those flowers around it and it ended up giving me a nice shot. The camera also fires fast enough that we could follow these hummingbirds as they were feeding on flowers. So I found that the R6 fired as rapidly as I needed it to go. It locked onto small birds and big birds in the brush, didn't get distracted, stayed with the eye when I needed it to stay with the eye. And even when it was a small bird, that camera could still lock onto it as long as I kept my skills going. Isn't it interesting that I have the Canon R3 in the bag. I use it and I've been using it ever since I bought it. But then, I get the Canon R6 Mark II. I've only used it for about a month before I go on this trip. And then this camera, the Canon R6 Mark II, becomes my favorite camera for the entire trip. Personally, I never would have expected it. I thought that I would have used the R3 all the time and pulled the R6 out occasionally. But nope, I used the R6 almost the entire trip and only use the R3 simply because I forgot about it and brought it out. So this Canon R6, I can tell you, is fabulous for birds. Tracks, autofocus, resolution, um, everything. ISO quality, everything about it. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II is one incredible camera. You should try it. If you've got any questions, post them below and I will answer them for you. Also, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. Push the subscribe button. If you liked this video, push the like button as well. And then I hope to see you sometime out in the field.
Thanks. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark, and thank you very much for watching.